Hi Leo, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your Love and Romance reading for the month of June 2018. Leo, this is an adjunct video to the previously released longer, more comprehensive re reading that I did for the months of May, June, and July. There's a link up here if you haven't seen that yet or you wish to. Um, okay, so Leo, first off, I want to remind all signs um, that I also have the Life, Purpose, and Career readings up. And if you aren't someone who typically watches the Life, Purpose, and Career readings and just goes straight to love, you know, I would, I would suggest, um, if it resonates with you, that you check it out. Because whenever we are feeling more connected to our sense of purpose in the world and what we do each and every day, um, and we take the focus off of one thing being the thing that will bring us happiness, in this case, love. Not that everyone approaches these readings from that perspective, but sometimes it's easy to, you know. Um, so you may want to listen to your life, purpose, and career reading, whether they be mine or there's many out there. So uh, just a suggestion. All right, so today, Leo, I'm going to be getting one card from the um, Romance Angels as the overarching theme for the month of June, three cards from the sensual Wicca Tarot, <clears throat> one card in the position of what you're meant to do or start doing, one card in the position of what you're meant to not do or stop doing, and one card for what you can look forward to regardless. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also, I have the online courses up and available for purchase. So if you're interested in learning how to read oracle cards or uh, crystals or spirituality, I have um, a few different courses up and available. And um, my daughter, Meta Rhodes, is a filmmaker, and she made a really fun um, blooper reel <laughs> uh, for when we were uh, doing the, the online courses. And so she created it as a kind of a promo for me. So I'm including a link here to that video. It's going to be up on the YouTube channel because I wanted to include everyone in on the fun as well. We had a lot of fun <laughs> and laughs making the, the courses. And um, and also maybe you'll check out the, the courses themselves, of course. So. All right, let's go ahead and get started, Leo. All right, here we go. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Ah, oh, if only it were so easy. <laughs> I mean, these types of conversations were always beneficial, um, but sometimes it's not always easy to get everyone on the same page, um, even to have the conversation. And I'm always struck with this card, how one person is more eager <laughs> to have the conversation than the other seems to be. Um, but remember, appearances are often deceiving, so you know everyone has a different way of showing up in the world at different times and so it may appear that someone isn't ready to have a conversation but if you're ready you have to do what's right and true for you it doesn't mean that you're meant to be pushy but you have to take care of yourself you know and see and what's right for you so something to consider now we also have worth waiting for under the deck as an underlying energy um, this is to remind everyone <laughs> Leo's in particular uh, that not everything happens in the timing that we prefer <laughs> here on the planet earth but in terms of um, an angelic perspective a spiritual perspective everything's happening exactly at the right time and the text of this card is divine timing is at work in your love life so if you do feel frustrated um, maybe because you're you're not seeing the romantic partner that you want or if you're in a romantic partnership you're not having the conversations um, that you're wanting to have um, bide your time um, here. Know that all things are working out exactly in the right time from all souls involved. But let's go ahead and uh, get some additional cards. And if you don't know your sun, moon, or rising sign, or your moon or rising sign, um, I have a resources page uh, on my website and I have uh, some links there for different sites where you can find out for free your rising and moon signs. And I have a lot of book titles and just links in general of people who I like. So it's all free and it's all there for you. So if you're interested, you can check that out if you want to know more. <laughs> I know I'm always really curious about life in general and <laughs> always seeking out additional information from the etheric realms, from the manifest realms. <laughs> And I'm Leo Rising. All right, so for Leo, I think Leo's meant to do, not do. I can look forward to regardless. Based on this heart-to-heart -heart conversations card, month of June, 
2018. Okay, so what you're meant to do, yay, the stars, <laughs> beautiful energy here. So what you're meant to do or start doing is the stars. What you're meant to not do or stop doing, we have the tower in reverse, <laughs> the eruption card in this deck. And what we can look forward to regardless is the Ace of Wands in reverse. And we have the Six of Wands. Very Leo energy here. Um, oops. <laughs> Under the deck. Very beautiful energy. Okay. So, what you're meant to do or start doing, Leo. Well, the Stars card and the, and the Divine Timing is worth waiting for. You know, these both sort of indicate this idea of, of the wait. Right? The Stars card is about... Um, having a lot of hope, having a lot of optimism, and helping others, you know, if you are already in partnership, helping to to reassure them as well, that all is well, you know? Um, have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Again, not just about need and grasp, but about what's how your what your perspective is, you know? And if it's a very positive perspective, even better, <laughs> you know? Um, because the stars card is all about, you know, wishing upon the star, in my in the way I see it here, and especially for you, we have, we see the star right above his head and he's raising his hands to it, you know, he's exalting it, you know, the, the, the unknown in many ways, because it is about having faith and optimism, but also the heart-centered energy of knowing that all things are possible, even if we can't see it yet, right? And then what we're meant to not do or stop doing, we have the eruption card, I'll show it to you in the upright so you can see the imagery but we have it in the reverse. So let me just take a minute to tune into this, what this means. So what Leo's are meant to not do or stop doing. All right, so how I'm feeling this for Leo's, because it's in the reverse, usually when it's in the reverse for me, things are happening to other people, right? It's not necessarily happening to you. But it doesn't mean that you excuse people. <laughs> you know, other people may be having, uh, this is why, you know, you're being asked to provide that sense of strength of optimism for another if you are coupled, um, for yourself if you're not. But also, it's, you know, you don't excuse people, but you can let, you can guide people out of seemingly chaotic situations or darkness through the strength of your soul, through the strength of your knowing that all things are possible, that that there is tremendous, um, you have a tremendous amount of hope and optimism and um, faith in the relationship. And if it's, again, if it's not, if you're not coupled, that you have faith in in the universal energy of love, whether it show up in, in an individual in your life or just in terms of everything that's available at any given moment that are loving encounters with nature with other individuals you know it's, it's it's always available it's just whether we are open to it but in terms of what you're meant to not do or stop doing is I'm going to read it a couple different ways here one of them is don't make excuses for others you know recognize yes other people are having uh, things happen in their life but that doesn't excuse maybe how they may be treating you or um, or waiting for other people's lives to fall apart you know it's like um, your role during the month of June, as I feel it here in Leo, is not to wait anxiously for someone else to come out of a bad situation. That puts you in a perennial feeling of you're in the waiting room, you know? And the star's energy isn't about being in the waiting room, hoping quietly <laughs> that all will be well. It's an active energy of beaming out love and optimism and hope um, so that you feel connected to those energies regardless of who shows up or when they show up. Does that make sense? So. So don't make excuses for others. Be compassionate and hold the strength of your own sense of, of self and hope and optimism. But also don't just bide your time waiting for something to happen in someone else's life. Say you're waiting for someone and uh, you're hoping that, not that they have a bad experience, but that they'll come out of that experience or something will occur where they'll finally realize, you know, what you're worth or whatever. You have to know what you're worth, you know, and what you're willing to, to, um, wait for, you know, but actively wait. It's not about just passively waiting, okay? Um, because, you know, the overarching theme here is the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It's an active element here. Um, so speak your truth. Um, 
as often as you can to yourself first. You know, a lot of times, you know, the ego will want to have that, that conversation with another for closure, right? But you can have it uh, energetically with another without that person giving it to you. You know, whenever we feel like someone's not giving us something, like we're waiting for them to show up so we can finally have that conversation and finally experience closure, Again, that's that waiting room energy, like you're somehow, you're not living your life yet. You're living your life right here, right now, every single moment. And that's what you're connecting to here. You know, that life force energy as, it, as you open your heart to it more and more. Now, we do have what we can look forward to regardless is the Ace of Wands. So there may be this flake out energy. There may be um, a desire or an actual manifestation of just not wanting to put as much energy in to love, into a relationship, a romantic love, I'll say. Um, it may even, you may even feel, again, this is why you don't necessarily want to make excuses for another or just wait patiently for someone to um, come out of a situation or for a situation to happen to someone so that you can finally you know, have your opportunity, this kind of thing. Uh, that energy is not working as well for you and you may someone you may experience this with someone else as well because again if you're waiting for someone else they may flake so this is why you have to connect very powerfully Leo during this particular month to the strength of your soul to who you know you are to the hope and optimism that flows from within you know through you as you for you um, from you you know we see here that the star is right there at his heart. He is the star. He is the hope and the optimism that he's wanting to see in his life. I say he because it's or a he. But we do have the beautiful Leo energy here, the Six of Wands. Watch your ego. Watch when your pride gets uh, all ruffled. <laughs> you know, they don't know who I am. You know, I'm going to move on. You know, it's not that energy. It's about knowing who you are without necessarily the egotism or the pride that can be so problematic. And can make heart-to-heart -heart conversations <clears throat> difficult when we are feeling very prideful. <laughs> uh, so, you know, knowing that you are moving on, <clears throat> either at the, <clears throat> excuse me, either during this time period or um, coming into this time period uh, very recently, but you're moving on with a sense of, of strength, of victory, you know, but just watch the ego. Um, you're moving forward and you're in the spotlight. I mean, you're definitely... Uh, and if you're coupled, you definitely have the opportunity to be in the spotlight together. Um, but you just may not like have a lot of energy because it, when that, the star's energy, which is what you're meant to do or start doing, veers into trying to shore someone else up, that's exhausting for you. And it's exhausting for another person for, if they're doing that for you. You have to hold it for yourself and they have to hold it for themselves as well. You can reflect it to them through your actions, through your, through your um, emanations, but, you know, you can beam strength and love at someone and they, if they're not in vibrating at that level, they may just receive it, you know, 10%, you know, 5%, 50%. But meanwhile, you're beaming 100%. But you're not doing it in order to shore them up. You're doing it because that's the strength of who you are, you know. And you wanted to see that reflected not only in your romantic partnerships, but in all areas of your life. It goes back to the life purpose reading. Um, you're wanting to, to see it reflected in the work that you do in the world and your in your bank statement, in your friendships, your family, and in your romantic um, partnerships. All right. Okay. All right, Leo, I'm going to get one more card for you from the After Tarot. It's kind of a fun deck. And we'll close out your reading. Now, if you want additional guidance, you know, if it, you know, if you feel like it, go back and, and watch the May, June, and July. I love reading that I already did. Let's see if it, you know, see how this works with that. Again, we're talking about June. It's a relatively short period of time. Uh, so there's not, I think there's just not a lot of stability during this particular month for you. But remember, you have to have faith. We have the stars, which is what you're meant to do and keep doing and start doing. Um, and we have worth waiting for. So what you're wanting is coming to you, will be reflected back to you. It'll be reflected back to you more quickly, more, dy more dynamically, the more that you uh, keep yourself in the vibration of, of love, of openness. 
not for a particular individual necessarily or a particular kind of relationship, but just because it's exciting to do so. It's fun to know, you know, to to spend time in the joy in the creating, not necessarily in the creation, you know, or or manifesting the creation. You know, you're here for the creating. The creations are an added benefit. <laughs> But with the Six of Wands there, if you are single, it does look like, um, you know, competition is kind of falling by the wayside. You're, you may be catching the eye of, of your beloved or your crush more easily, more um, often. And it may even be for you single people that you may meet someone in... Um, in playing games and playing sports, this kind of thing, uh, team sports, things like that, events, you know, running a 5K and this kind of thing, being in the spotlight. Okay, so I have one more card from the Astro Tarot. And we have the Seven of Cups. Now, in this deck, I go by the imagery um, a lot, and we see here that a choice has been made. You know, the Seven of Cups can also be can often be like a very confusing time, um, a lot of fantasy. And you don't know which choice to have, you know, to, to select. But it looks like, and this goes very nicely with this idea of the victory card. You know, being in the spotlight. Um, it looks like during this particular time frame, either you or your uh, partner or your potential partner has made a choice. It, they have, things have settled by the end of the month and there is this, uh, uh, selection <laughs> process that has been going, undergoing and by the end of the month it's, it's kind of decided upon. So again, it may be you or someone else kind of coming to the conclusion like, yes, okay, I've made my choice. Now, I don't know, you know, it's going to depend, um, on your circumstance, what the choice is, uh, so just, you know, be gentle and easy during this time frame. But um, again, it's kind of, like I said, like with the Seven of Cups, there's this idea of instability and you can't decide. And maybe you're waiting on someone else to decide. But remember, you're not just waiting passively. You're connected to the moment. You know, I do have some podcast episodes up about being um, open and surrendered to the moment. Um, but it looks like a choice is being made um, by the end of the month. So that's super exciting. And who knows what it'll be. <laughs> um, but you do, you either way, you you are emerging victorious. So that's really nice to see Leo. All right. I hope you find that helpful. I wish you much love and I will see you either at your private appointment for tarot or Reiki, or maybe over on the online courses or on the audio podcast. All readings are available on the audio podcast. Um, you can just Google Sloan Rose podcast and it'll pop up. So you don't have to just watch it here on the YouTube channel. All right. Much love to you.